Today we are heading to the top of the world famous Hollywood sign. One of the things you gotta do when visiting Hollywood is check out the Hollywood sign. There's a lot of hiking trails. You can actually walk up to the top here. It's called Mount Lee. So we're gonna go check this out and see what's up with all the views up there. I can't imagine living on these streets. I mean, beautiful little homes, you know, tucked right into the hills with, you know, views of the Hollywood sign. But like the streets are so narrow, it's basically like one way coming up. So you gotta find some parking and kind of walk a little ways to the gate. And for the record, it does say you're not supposed to hike up to the sign, but everybody is doing it. So I don't know what the deal is with that, but just come around and walk through here. I picked a nice day to do this hike. Uh, 90 degrees, get some water. So we're gonna see how tough this hike is and uh, get some awesome views of the Hollywood sign. Yeah, so all around, you know, this hike is beautiful views and you can see it's a little hazy out there, definitely hot, um, but you've got the city skyline. You can see a lot of the valley as well. Beautiful views. So right now this road is closed. We're actually not supposed to be, I think walking up here, I'm not sure, but you know, normally there is a road here. Yeah, so it is a, a road, but Right now it's closed. There was a gate kind of closing it, but very windy. Still gotta go over there. Don't hike in the middle of the summer in the middle of the day. Gotta remind myself of that next time. So this is the other side of the Hollywood sign. This is the San Fernando Valley and um, a little bit of Burbank. So you can see the Walt Disney Studios over here, the Forest Lawn Cemetery, which has a lot of uh, famous people buried there, the Hollywood celebrities. And uh, randomly, a guy was talking about, there's an Ikea back here. You can see it over there. It's uh, the largest Ikea in North America. So here's a clear look at the uh, Disney Studios in Burbank, right there. Yeah, absolutely uh, stunning views all around. Almost there, a little bit more, here it is. We're gonna go up here, get some better views. Now we're at the top of Mount Lee Summit. It's only like 1700 feet, but the walk, you know, going uphill in the, the desert heat you know, definitely, you definitely feel it a little bit, but definitely worth it if you can get up here. So over there is like Beverly Hills, and then Santa Monica is over there. You can't see because of the haze, but you normally can see the ocean right there. 
So the um, the trail from where the gate started to this point was about a mile and a quarter, but it, you know it is uphill. Um, so, but it wasn't bad. But it, you know, it's definitely a good little workout for sure. So make sure you're in good shape and you bring water if you do it, and try not to go in the heat of the day like I did. But right now with the breeze up top here, it's actually really nice. Let's see uh, Griffiths. So the uh, Hollywood sign goes back to 1923, it originally said Hollywood Land. Um, it's been redone many times, it's obviously not the original 1923 sign, but this is the uh, location. There's a lot of locks on this chain link fence, I'm not sure why. If anybody knows, you can put it in the comments below. It's psychologically much faster coming down these uh, mountain trails, certainly, than going up for sure. But definitely a really good hike, you know, uh, beautiful views. Obviously, this hike does connect to uh, Griffith Park Observatory. There's tons of trails in these mountains. Uh, you know, you just got to figure out what works for you and your, like, level of outdoors activity and stuff like that. But definitely a must-do thing when... Uh, hitting up the LA area.